Woof woof my so drive. I am your channeler today. My name is Magic and I am your channeler today. I am looking here. So <laughs> I am not showing my face anymore so chai because as you can see look okay he's going to she is going to be here today if i knew i would have gotten the hat i made for you okay so this is your channeler for today merry christmas my soul child as promised i'm going to do your who is your future spouse reading who is your future spouse woof 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 are you even sorry because she has an upset stomach, so uh, well, me and Magic had a little ruckus this morning, but we already up and about, and we are buddies, as you can see, <laughs> as you can see. Okay, look, so Tribe, we're going to do your reading. Who's your future spouse? Merry, Merry Christmas. I am here, dog sitting, dog sitting, a snuggle bunny okay so um I, all right pile one silver pile one eagle <laughs> we're going to borrow this pile two reindeer pile three man okay well i'm just going to call that a man anyway so all right well oh she she wants to be here are you sure are you sure you want to be here and watch us okay all right sleep okay so let's call spirit guys and we're going to channel who's your future spouse with our company here oh my goodness okay so let's go calling on my spirit guys my guardian angel the assistance of the higher power and the spirit of the universe as we're going to channel messages possible energies advice for pile eagle pile reindeer pile man we are going to find out who is your future spouse or you can just pick silver gold and silver and gold so which calls to you my soul tribe i'm not showing my face now because i think i've already shown myself and so i don't get conscious <laughs> and you can see you can look at magic's face instead and she is also hiding okay who is her future spouse for you pile silver okay who is your future spouse whatever we can see in your energy merry christmas hope you have a wonderful christmas my soul tribe and i am just trying to um I am on the road, as you can see, look, she's gone now. Okay, that's okay, so we can concentrate. And, um, what? You want to get your toy? Okay. She bring her toy. Oh, get your rope too. Get your rope. Get, get your rope. All right, well, there you go. She's playing. Okay, so let's go. Pile silver. Oh, look, she's playing. You want to give me your rope? We're cozy here on the floor and she's busy. Okay, who's your future spouse? Oh my god, Pile Silver. Maybe your future spouse is generous. Page of Coins. You're about to meet this person soon. Your future spouse could have light hair, blue eyes, could be a different race than you okay because that's how i could understand right now page of pentacles you're still about to meet this person possibly younger fair man um that's how i could see right now possibility earth sign taurus virgo capricorn okay so tribe as we go along we will understand more um but so far i am seeing a very handsome, beautiful male or an energy of uh, divine masculine or a male energy, younger, okay? Fair skin, fair man. So, oh, here, come on, come on. 
Oh, she's giving me her toy now because she knew she did something. Oh. Okay, who's your future spouse? Oh, healing. So, Divine Feminine or you, Pile 1, for the last four years, you need to... You need to, uh, to reflect on what you learn in this journey. What is the negative karmic pattern that you need to stop? Okay, don't just be saying, yeah, you're doing shadow work. And then nothing great, nothing wonderful. This future spouse can't be seen. Or you were connected with someone and you thought they were the one. So whatever. Universe wants you to be serious on your purging, your cleansing, and your shadow work. It's up to you. Okay, if you're going to be dilly-dallying and not doing anything and thinking like, yeah, you're awakened spirit, you're awakened soul, and you're doing your shadow work. If it's just all words and not sincerity and not serious, and then who's the one who's going to suffer? You're the one who's going to suffer because you're going to get stuck there. Now, you know what? If there's a female energy, she could also be someone who has wavy hair. Maybe she wants... She likes to highlight her hair. She colors her hair. She has long wavy hair. Or we are going to see more. Okay. But um, maybe there, there is a connection between an earth sign and an uh, air sign here. Air sign could be Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. Or earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. So, so try... Um, let's let's see more okay who's your future spouse the hierophant this person is um well universe is trying to tell you do not worry pile one because it's already written in the book of destiny is like you know you need to believe that god is going to write your own love story you need to not be angry with god and universe why like you sometimes you're feeling like you're being punished for things that you've never done remember our our spiritual journey is all about karma it's all about good karma bad karma but you know in order to to manifest your dreams to come true and this is your christmas message you have to stay strong in your faith in god now there is also a possibility that your life partner not only looking young or younger, but also a person who is a leader, a spiritual or a religious figure in the community, a man or a woman of faith, or a person who is traditional, conservative, uh, takes their time. They like to observe. They, uh, This person, like, they think before they leave, okay? Because this person is traditional and conventional person. So what now? See, I, I knew it. There is a feminine here. Look, if you're not going to do your shadow work and take it seriously, you're going to get stuck there. You've been already there, okay? On and off, on and off, on toxic relationship, looking to find the one within the last four years. If you have a lot of time in your hand, Okay, to be like stuck there. And then that's your choice. It's up to you. But universe wants you to let go of stress, negative thinking, and and do a major serious reflection, contemplation. What do you need to do? Are you dating the same old, same old, same man? Or, you know, um, if you are someone who, who already connected with somebody and you were in separation right now, I think you have to let go of, what you don't understand. You have to let go of control. You have to let go of the pain and the anger. That's how it is. And you have to give it to God because I am seeing right now that the universe, universe major teaching or life lesson for you to learn right now so you can manifest your dream, your true love, your future spouse is to let go and let God. That's how I could see. Okay? Like, god is in charge or you have to pray to god and universe to bring your destiny your true love your way king of coins i tell you it's a nerd sign fair man okay look blue eyes blonde hair person tall if this is a masculine i tell you very wealthy and uh could be a businessman a leader good with management skills so i tell you they they take their time they have strategy they 
That's how it is. In order to be successful in life, you have to have good business skills. You have to you have to to be someone who has good. Um, you have to know their. Uh, I mean, they have to know their game. They have to know. It's like if it's playing chess. Maybe they're also good with computer communication. Um, maybe they have IT skills, like you know, like technology skills. Maybe they could also be an engineer. Okay, not only a businessman, but also an engineer. So um, let's see. Let's see what else. Yeah, look, we are back again on your energy pile one. This is you. If there's a feminine who picked pile one, if you're a female, this is you again. Exactly what I was already trying to say. You're about to close the cycle. You need to close the cycle because you didn't. You do not want to get stuck there. You don't want to be single forever. So your message today, Christmas message, take your shadow work seriously. This is not a laughing matter. Okay, I know universe do not want you to be like stuck on the dark, but the same way universe also wants you to gain back your confidence, your self-worth, okay? And let go of stress. So magic just, um, just rumble my, okay, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The Empress. Nothing is ever handed to you, but universe trying to tell you, yes, you could be a late bloomer. Yes, you've been manifesting and calling your future life partner, but your life partner is on their way to be your emperor. But I think the key here for you to manifest your future spouse, who is a very beautiful person, a beautiful man, a beautiful woman, the key here is for you to believe okay today is the christmas day it's the same as the christmas spirit in order to awaken the christmas spirit you must believe in order to bring the magic of the universe and the magic of love in your life you must believe that you are capable of being loved and you must believe that you are going to call this true love to happen in your life not just an illusion so if there is a female energy she's the empress she went through a lot of trauma she went through a lot of heartache and heartbreak she can cook well she is very beautiful she looks like a model she's a good mother she is um, a well capable well-read, well-knowledgeable, and very smart and beautiful woman, not only from the inside, but also from the outside. So that's how I could see right now. And um, let's see what else the universe wants to say about your future spouse journey. So, oh my God, codependency. See, it's the cleansing that needs to be done. I know there's something that fell too. Someone needs to let go of temptation, pride and ego, karmics. I know you've been seeing that a lot. Or maybe, like I said, I was already seeing a feminine energy who needs to be serious on your shadow work. If there are temptations and karmics or something that you see around, okay, and then you compare yourself to others, universe know, wants you to know that you are a diamond. You are not just someone like, you know, because you think you're just mediocre and universe is truly trying to tell you, you have to realize the diamond inside you. You could be like a diamond in the rough. Remember, you're already, you already have the Empress energy. So addictions are affecting your romantic life. Well, on your way to do your healing or your shadow work, you develop habits, addictions, bad habits anyways, or vices or something like that, or negative thinking. So, see, I tell you, I mean, there's a lot more that we need to learn in this journey, but what now? Express your love. Go ahead and make the romantic gesture. So, there were blocks in your future spouse journey, but this, this can be solved, okay? You can, you can fight through this. I know you've been fighting through your love life and you've been calling this person to express their love to you. You've been calling this person to come back to you or to express their feelings to you. But anyway, yeah, I'm seeing a tall person here. It could be a fair man or a person with medium skin tone and wavy hair. Wow, they're, this person is also like lean to athletic build. If it's a male and if it's a female she could she's not truly thin 
but she's petite or medium height could be like i said wavy hair she could also have a little bit curly hair well wavy and curly hair anyway maybe she likes to curl curl her hair and do highlights and color her hair anyway so child universe is trying to say in order to manifest this person to come true in your life you have to you have to really be serious with your cleansing, your purging, and your shadow work, healing family issues. So you can clear this negative karmic pattern. Your negative karma, your bad karma goes back way from the past. Your love life benefits as you forgive your parents. So anyway, this is not just all about the parents. This is also about like the way I understand it's a past life karma that you need to learn. Or if there are truly like, you know, someone is blocking you from being together. If it's their toxic parents or maybe parents who thought that manipulating them to do some things because they thought it was better choice for them. Regardless, so tribe, I hope, I hope, I hope. People is just going to grow and not going to be manipulating and controlling whatever. But it feels like what am I seeing in your energy? I think like, I think your future spouse was being pressured by society or by parents or the community or by peer pressure. But mostly it's saying in here there's parents. So we're not going to be painting them a bad person because, you know, hopefully his parents just wants to be... Um, to make him better, okay, to make him look good. But anyway, the way you understand, maybe this is one of the blockage why you're not together because for a while, this person was prioritizing what others wants them to be, wants them to do. So I think your future spouse needs to learn that they need to prioritize their happiness um, and not listen to others who doesn't know them better maybe i don't know it feels like it's more about your future spouse needs to learn to choose you now okay like i know there's a lot of painful realization for this person later on but it takes growth okay and i hope this growth is going to help your future spouse and life partner find you and hopefully with you as well maybe you are someone pile one who went through um toxic family connections possibly you know there's some rivalry around success a little bit of toxicity around your family like there's conflicts and something like that anyway universe wants you to forgive you cannot add more negative thinking anger and and hopelessness okay because you know you understand if you truly want something sometimes and if you like want it now and then you want it so bad and then suddenly things happen and then you get discouraged and i think that's what happened to you maybe your family expects so much of you or you were someone who were the breadwinner and when i say breadwinner like you had so much responsibilities that you forgot to take care of you so now now, now that makes sense okay universe wants you to learn to take care and take time to reflect and take time for yourself choose yourself okay in order for you to find your future spouse so anyway i thought we're just going to learn who's your future spouse but i am picking up energy and i'm being honest what i am seeing i know it's christmas day so chai but this is what i am picking up okay universe wants you to take care of yourself more and then when you take care of yourself more, you attract love and then you attract true love into your life. Okay, so message of concern. I tell you, you need to take care of yourself. Message of concern, you're feeling sad and hopeless and do not feel well right now. Self-doubting and um, stress. Okay, but until then, look. Take yourself away from all this negative thinking because someone wants to come in your life. Someone from distant horizon, someone from a distant land. Maybe um, this your future lab partner is going to travel the world to see you or you might travel. Okay, anything can happen. But anyway, the, your situation when it comes to your love life and future life partner journey is going to improve. I mean, uh, like, you know, it's not always going to be in this sadness because it's going to lift up. 
so we're going to see what else yeah anyway look this is the imprisonment you believe me now when i'm telling you from the very get-go if you do not take care of yourself be careful on this imprisonment you're going to get stuck there you're going to end up alone and single and sad okay so see you have like the cinderella energy nothing is ever handed to you nothing is ever easy but if you learn to take care of you and learn to be empress energy see see your dreams can also come true i know that i am digging much more deeper than i wanted to do on your reading but anyway you're a late bloomer pile one and universe do not want you to feel lost and afraid. Your future spouse is going to come in your life. Like I already was picking up, they could be an entrepreneur, engineer, builder, a businessman, traditional, conventional person. So until then, what they want to say to you, I want you. Well, there's passion between you two. Or maybe, pile one, you are a very passionate person, but you have to put this passion in the right connection and universe do not want you to be connecting with karmics because you're going to inhale this negative karmic energy and then you know the key is you need to inhale this good karma so you can be step closer towards your true life partner if you're going to be dating and dating i know if universe is going to say yes you have to put yourself out there you have to like you know go on dates or get to know people but you also have to take care of you okay get to know people first before doing something crazy or whatever you know something that is going to make you stuck okay but anyway all i can tell you right now your future spouse there is passionate magnetic chemistry connection between you two you are the best lover i tell you maybe you're going maybe you were friends you were seeing each other casually and then suddenly bam maybe you were lovers before and then it's going to turn into so much more there's so much this passion this lust it's possible it can turn into love but anyway so chai um you know all this uh, I'm not even sure if I'm allowed to say like the friends with benefits or something like that. But you know what, Soul Tribe? <laughs> it's a possibility that it could turn so much more. But usually it's the woman who's like always end up like heartbroken there. So maybe that was your energy that I am picking up for quite some time or back when you were younger. But you learned your life lesson, okay? Um, There's no stopping you from this journey so you move you must move forward all i really want to know spirit guys is who is their potential life partner but we are digging deeper and i cannot help it so child i had to tell you what i can see okay see there's still marriage waiting for you even, even though you think like yeah it was so insane and so crazy so keep your vibration high that's how it is keep moving forward with an open mind renewal is also truly there's passion here look but it's good passion your chemistry your magnetic attraction is going to lead you towards marriage okay so until then bam this is all about the marriage reading future life partner future spouse reading so thank you very much and thank you because i sorry so chime you know we cannot just like say okay who is it but you know spirit guys always take us into a, a journey much more <laughs> much more deeper than our question but it's good because they can okay or else how am i going to be telling you stuff and there's no spirit guys forget it okay so anyway let's go pile gold what is your future spouse journey magic whoa it's magic come here come here turn around turn around you want to turn around here that's your santa santa magic here santa magic at least she's here okay well at least she's feeling better all right magic oh come here oh that's your channeler there she's listening where's your toy here 
it's your time. It's your time. She is playing. Okay, but we need to finish this reading magic. Okay, let's go pile deer or pile gold. Who's your future spouse and what will Spirit Guides is going to say? Eight of Pentacles. Your future spouse is a workaholic. Now I am also seeing again a medium skin tone, but a person who has light hair, blue eyes, medium skin tone. Maybe your future spouse is a foreigner. Okay. Your future spouse is a professor, a teacher, very smart person, well read person, has collection of books. Okay. Or a person who could be um, an earth sign or a very strong element of earth in their chart. Okay, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This could also be a message that your future spouse is currently working on a new skill. Or possibly um, currently opening um, a new project or working on a new project or trying to... <laughs> start a new job or something like that so try they are embarking on new opportunities right now so that's how i could see and um your future spouse is very much eager to learn but it feels like they were stuck with work workaholic energy okay knight of swords yes and they are also revolving with some drama right now i don't know what kind of drama but we will see Okay, maybe there was someone who really likes this person and never want to let go, like a karm, third party karm or temptation or rivalry. Okay, so it's not truly like third party, but maybe your your person, your future spouse has a lot of admirer. I am also seeing a person who has um, possibility dark hair as well, but also, you know, the combination here is like, medium skin tone with fair hair and blue eyes so they i know that they tan they like to tan their skin they like to be in the beach they like to be in the sun to have their sun tan but there is also a combination like a male energy okay or if this is a woman they like to be around the sun they are a child of the sunlight or the sun so anyway like i said there's another combination it's like i'm seeing like exotic from the asian korean japanese something like that fair skin dark hair aloof okay very mysterious very serious okay some something like when you look at them they're kind of like mysterious somber looking and um like sometimes you don't know what they're thinking but anyway let's serious looking we are going to see maybe they're just serious <laughs> because they i don't know but that's how they are we can't judge and there's a feminine here you just want to be with someone look you're so sick of being single forever is this going to change good news for you answer from the universe yes your status is going to change you're so sick of like like you know um like you know your status is always single you want it like to happy relationship with someone taken something like that that's what's your dream because this is a love and marriage reading and <laughs> merry christmas pile too so if this is a female she is sexy she's voluptuous she's curvy or she could also be on the slim figure but she has body okay she's also very attractive person could be medium height medium height to tall and very creative okay but until then a feminine who also went to like um a painful dark night of the soul or going through some losses in her life right now or our new transition loss of a job loss of <laughs> something okay like heartache and heartbreak but she she is determined for new beginnings so anyway let's see more see i tell you she went through some some trauma some healing that he she needs to do right now she's she was there she was in the journey okay currently healing herself the shadow work but anyway you are in the 999 energy 
pile two or if you are a female energy look this female energy also like to to you like to style your hair like like the waves i don't know why i'm picking up like that kind of style right now like summer waves or ocean waves like you want that your curls to flow naturally not like I don't know, so child. That's how I am seeing right now. You want that romantic, romantic hairstyle. I, I don't have anything wrong against that. Or maybe there's a feminine here. Her style is like elegant, ethereal, romantic, maybe a little bit boho, bohemian. It's like a carefree, free spirit. Okay, that's how I could see. If it's a female energy, you're a free spirit. And then there's a male energy. He is like... He, he, you know, you're kind of opposite towards each other because look, you're, if this is a male energy, he has to wake up in the morning and do the same routine. It, everything has to be um, in the process, okay? Like, you know, okay, nine o'clock, go to the gym, 10 o'clock, go to the office, 11 o'clock, um, get some coffee or breakfast or something like that. So see, ya, or, at 12 o'clock there's a meeting so but then there's a feminine she's a free spirit so anything goes any anywhere where the wind blows so but she's currently trying to find herself okay so anyway if you were trying to find yourself for the last year or so you were very very much a single and i felt like there's a feminine here like sometimes you're just giving up hope if Truly, someone is going to come in your life and love you. Yeah, you're very intuitive. You're a free spirit. You're an authentic soul. So stay there. And you are drawn to someone. Who are you thinking to? What is the universe message? So anyway, um, universe is going to bring, to bring a person into your life, okay? Or a channeled message into your life to help heal you. To help you understand about love. So universe doesn't only, maybe you are in a twin flame connection, but it was very hard. So do not close the door. If the universe wants to open new doors in your life to bring like new community, new person or a soulmate, just go with the flow, okay? Because universe are very much advanced and they know where to take you. So, and instead of you being stuck here forever and ever, because remember, there's a female energy, you're already on the 999. And the universe is trying to call you to not get deviated in your path. You're, you are called, you're very intuitive, okay? You are dreaming about someone. You're seeing signs, symbols, synchronicities. You might have seen 1111, 333, repeated numbers, something like that. So anyway, and also you have a strong premonition and dreams. So what now? Page of Swords. See, universe trying to say you might connect with someone through social media. You are drawn to someone like, uh, like you know, maybe you could meet a person anyway pay attention music books movies maybe your counterpart is an actor an author a musician um what else can i it's a very creative creative soul and um and there's also online presence social media so all like and this person looks young for their age maybe if not younger they look young but there's also feminine okay although you're kind of like a late bloomer you've been single for a while but you're going to look young forever too so i think universe wants you to not be so focused on your age if you are truly someone who's like you know in your 30s or 40s or 50s or something so child sometimes we just gotta learn to trust and surrender and do not be bitter okay if some things didn't go your way what's the worst that could happen you've been stuck there for a while and universe already trying to tell you some magical door and magical bridge is going to appear in your life and it's going to bring your future spouse who is younger looking who could be very handsome attractive 
So anyway, yes, it's in the page of swords, knight of swords. But you know, your future spouse is also not free of baggage and drama. So anyway, but universe is going to teach you both to heal the baggage and karma. So you're not going to be like stuck, okay? When you finally think you've met each other and then suddenly there's more baggage and drama, but no relationship is ever perfect. So feminine, here you are again, let go of control issues. You're feeling bored, frustrated, why nothing is going your way. Stop thinking like universe has punished you. So um, there's also feminine going through money problem, career problem. There's also feminine, possibly short, medium length hair, straight hair. So that's how I could see right now. Page of Cups, I tell you. Page of Cups, Page of Swords, someone younger, naive. But Page of Cups could also be a new love. A new person is about to enter your life. Remember, I was already trying to tell you that there's a possibility the universe is going to open doors in your life. Do not get stuck in the past. If something is meant to be, it will be. But for now, universe wants you to meet some connections, okay, to heal you. Because right now, that's how I could see Page of Cups, a secret admirer. This is where you need to be right now, okay? This energy can, can um, change later on. But as of now, this is how I am seeing. Because I think universe is trying to heal you from being stuck, okay? Because you're trying to open that door and you cannot find the key because you were so stuck. Like, you know, um, and then it's dragging your confidence level. It's dragging your vibration down. And I think, you know, if universe knows what your struggles right now. So in order to fuel you to be a power manifester, they trying to bring um, wonderful people, wonderful connection to help lift you up. So this is your future spouse journey right now. But can I see that someone is going to see you as a wife or husband material? Yes. But you know, your journey is quite difficult and it will, you, you've had your struggles. Okay. I have to be honest with you. It's distant horizon. So your future spouse is from a faraway land and you were in the journey to find this future spouse within the last two or three years but anything can happen now because like i said you just need to clear yourself from oh my gosh from all this mess right now but you're a free spirit anyway you go anywhere the wind blows so change is your friend if but if you are truly someone who is resisting the change universe trying to say stop resisting the change you have you are a free spirit. Maybe you forgot that about you, okay? So, bad health. Well, anyway, universe trying to say, yes, you, maybe you forget you were a free spirit because we have to isolate within the last two or three years. There was health concerns. There was lockdown. There was pandemic. Anyway, um, maybe your future spouse also going through um, blockage, when it comes seeing you, okay, the distance, the travel lockdown, and then the uncertainty, the bad health, the vaccinations. So I think that's how I could see it. Good thing that we are trying to understand in the modern times thoughts, but they're thinking about you, how to be with you. They are your, you are their muse. Okay, like I said, this is a very creative person and we are already picking up on it. Maybe they can paint, they can write, they can, um, they can sculpt. Regardless, this is a this is a message that this person knows that you are out there or this person knows you are the one. They just need to find you, okay? And they are going to follow the universe, the signs. I think your future spouse is also a very awakened person, okay? When I say awakened person, also high vibrational. Anyway, look, <laughs> meet your future spouse. So anyway, let's see, what else can I see? Release your ex, release your ex. Well, someone needs to release their exes here. Someone has a lot of exes, but they weren't the ones. So we're not going to, um, 
well anyway the time has come to clear your energy universe trying to say yeah you've had your mistakes they have had mistakes but it's time to release the ex it's, it's ending so you can make way for new relationship new beginning anyway so try um if this message doesn't resonate with you it's okay we can try again next time give your relationship a chance work on your partnership anyway let go of toxic connection let go of toxic relationship because that's the only way you can make way for this beautiful relationship that's meant to be who is meant to be in your life until then this is how i can see in your energy i know it's quite like me something like that but anyway so try you're going to meet someone to heal you you're going to meet someone at your specific time in your life so you can move forward in your journey until then whatever will be will be but i am i see the universe trying to say don't be feeling like you're left out in the love and marriage and commitment department you are be beautiful in my eyes oh my god so whoever you're going to meet right now if this is going to be the person to marry you but anyway i think this person is is going to come in your life right now to tell you that you're beautiful okay the beautiful like like i already told you is going to bring up your confidence level you are sexy i tell you this a, there is a feminine here she's sexy what did i say and you melt my heart and you're very attractive if only that you know that you are beautiful without even trying so hard so problem right now is like we have so much anxiety and insecurity that we forget that sometimes less is more okay so simplicity is beauty but we are on the age right now that <laughs> oh my god slathered here do this do that oh, but anyway so child i think universe is trying to tell you pile to your beautiful just the way you are if you want a little enhancement here and there maybe you have to eat organic products organic food organic um that's how i could tell you okay like gravitate more on the natural natural products less on chemicals i don't know why i'm seeing that so anyway because i felt like you have insecurity right now and it was like blocking you from from finding your self-worth and then because you needing your self-worth to manifest love in your life until then until then you will meet someone and i hope this someone who is still an evolving romance i hope they could be the one okay but like i tell you we can only see the glimmer of light and we want to know who's your future spouse but i just knew that they are a creative creative soul okay or maybe you're going to meet someone your specific time in your life is going to lead you okay to that door to find that true love or it's going to teach you how to love yourself more so anyway so tribe it's like a soulmate connection something like that i don't know that's how i could see i wish i could understand more so chai but it's good that we are learning together sorry because magic was like magic was like playing her toy a while ago friendship see maybe you're going to meet someone to be best friends with or you need to connect with the community maybe you're going to meet this wonderful special person to the community to a party spiritual religious community and or the in your village let's see health something about health you cannot ignore this message right now okay heal yourself build your self-worth your self-confidence again so you cannot get stuck on the 999 energy you are long overdue to find that door for true love you're not meant to be alone you're not meant to be with your cat with your dog in every holiday or with your fish okay or just there on on your blanket so until then forgive yourself forgive others so that makes sense now universe is trying to say don't judge yourself don't compare yourself to others and uh, don't compare yourself if you are feeling insecure and anxious so so child 
Someone is going to come in your life who's going to love you the way you want to be loved and more. Okay? If something isn't right with someone right now, and I'm so sorry, I this is how I could understand. Maybe you have to trust and um, go with the flow. Okay? We're not totally like letting go, but we're just going to keep it open. Until then, this is what the universe wants you to know in order for you to get unstuck. And like, you know, you've been waiting for quite some time or maybe you've been connecting with someone, but it's always on and off, on and off. And like you, when you thought like, yeah, something is going to lead somewhere and then suddenly, bam! anyway, but the message is who's your future spouse? File two, the way I understand you're going to meet someone and it's up to you. It's up to you to assess if that's truly wife or husband material but i hope so okay i hope so that's how we can because you have a lot of forgiveness someone has hurt you you need to forgive it feels like the universe is trying to give you the gift of free will you want to be with someone in your past or you want to be with someone like a new love that's that's your choice right now and i cannot tell you it's a new love or it's a past love that you need to be with but currently right now this is your journey until then thank you merry christmas and um if you're truly curious let's do your reading until then i don't know so job i can only try but anyway wow it's christmas day so try man what can we do and kitty cat's head is already me, me, me. okay we're going to finish this. Let's go, man. <gasps> Whoever picked pile, silver, and gold. Ooh, but transformation. Universe is trying to say where there comes ending, comes new beginning. You've lost someone. You've had your heart broken. You went through bad health and uncertainty for the last two, three years. Um, like, you know, during the lockdown, you've lost your job. So you are going through so much tower moment, dark night of the soul, new transition in your life. But this is something you don't fear. Remember, we are the awakened souls. If you are going to be bounded by fear and doubting, and then the demons are going to feed on that. You don't want to give the demons the power to run your life to the power to conquer you okay to steal your happiness in your soul so maybe you are also someone going through like third party connection or you if you were someone who connected with someone there was separation a very painful separation right now with no communication anyway there's some toxic drama right now what now king of coins okay because this person needs to prioritize you this person is like you know their dreams they were chasing their dreams before but they didn't know that whoever they're looking for is you all along the special so their good luck charm their good fortune who's your future's person could be an entrepreneur a business minded person um like a sad well, I'm seeing here a light hair, fair man, fair skinned person, earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Okay, so very wealthy person, has the Midas touch, very tall person, could be a foreigner or a mixed race. So anyway, why I'm seeing that, but Empress energy, look, if you are a female energy who pick pile, Pile three, you went through so much transition, the hardship, the pain in the journey, but is it all worth it? Yes, because it's going to lead you to fertility, abundance, to marriage, okay? Let go of the toxic relationship because universe doesn't want you to connect with people who cannot support you with no uh, emotional psychological spiritual and financial i don't know but you know you are going to marry someone who is supportive is there marriage in your energy yes i know there is marriage in your energy you know like um i can tell you because i'm seeing it but you also went through i tell you some sadness but if you were separated from this person this person also felt the emptiness and the pain or maybe this is also truly your energy right now that letting go of the sadness because if something doesn't 
happened in the past because it wasn't the right time or it wasn't the right person. But universe is going to build you up, pile three, to meet the right connection, to build you up so, so you can have more courage to clear all the challenges your way and make things right for both of you. Because like I said, look, it's the toxic drama, I tell you. Because it's you're making... You are feeling hopeless right now and bounded by fear. Something that is making you stop. Maybe your connection. Do not want to let go of pride and ego, temptation. Do not want to grow up. Or maybe they were resisting the change. But you have to let it go. Okay? Because you want to be with someone who is going to fight for you. Okay? See, I tell you. It's also going to be true to you. Not going to be full of lies and deception. So this is your drama right now. A lot of pain. But is it worth it? Yes. There's a lot of pain. But you're going to grow from this. And you're going to get out of this. You're going to tell the cocoon. If you were like a butterfly there. Okay. Your wings has grown. You are ready. You're not stuck anymore. So universe wants you to move forward. And who is your future spouse? definitely not this toxic energy maybe universe is trying to tell you you have to choose yourself you have to be happy if you're single right now you do not want to connect with the wrong relationship and sometimes it's good to know that okay pile three be happy with what you have right now and then wait for the right connection to come in your life until then maybe universe is going to unfold more future spouse life partner energy like who are you going to marry see i tell you you have to let go of this bad juju universe is trying to decide even if you're feeling so much a single right now and have a hardship in money and everything and healing i think um the best way for you right now is to make peace with yourself as they say you have to fall in love with yourself first so you can attract someone who's going to fall in love with you or you need to be someone you want to marry okay so uh, i hope you understand what i'm trying to tell you there's a lot of hardship but i'm just going to be honest with you pile three because universe wants you to appreciate what you have right now and do not focus your energy too much on a life partner because right now you have a lot of darkness and shadow work to do until then so you can meet this wonderful person the business owner the businessman businesswoman the entrepreneur a tall handsome attractive person okay mature man either um earth sign or a water sign a water sign pisces cancer scorpio okay there could be have straight hair very tall man so anyway likes to be around the water very intuitive maybe this person is like you know a gentle soul has a lot more feelings for you maybe if you know this person didn't even tell you how they felt or if you truly do not know this person yet universe is going to bring this wonderful special person in your life if only you have to choose yourself first when you find love when you find yourself when you find peace and then that door is going to open until then i can only try so try and that's how i could understand but i am seeing a wonderful handsome attractive life partner who has a lot of respect and love for you granting the journey is very hard so try it's Christmas Day, and we don't want to be seeing so much bad juju energy, but I can only try. Do not worry. There is engagement and marriage waiting for you in your horizon, okay? Do not focus so much on like what happened in the past, the emptiness, the sadness. You move forward. Your love life is ascending to a higher level of commitment. See what I'm trying to tell you? You have to choose peace. You have to find yourself, and then when you find yourself, you're going to ascend. Not only your spiritual journey, but also so your love life and your future spouse or your twin flame journey so anyway but we're not going to be stuck on like title here on the twin flame soulmate 
but it's a future spouse. I tell you, there's engagement, there's honeymoon. So, I maybe you're going to have a destination wedding. Maybe you're going to have a wedding at a resort. Oh, it's a beautiful wedding. Oh my God. Enjoy the bliss of holiday time together. Maybe you're going to marry on the holidays. I don't know, but... And you're going to spend each other time on the holidays. You're going to be together on the holidays. Anyway, so drive this honeymoon and there's engagement. And this is a process, okay? Engagement, marriage, and then honeymoon. Thank you very much. There's no honeymoon if there's no engagement and marriage. Engagement is also proposal. So it feels like pile three. You have a hard time getting this engagement and proposal for a long time now and then you were stuck and you were angry and you were feeling hopeless but you'll find this person okay this this person is attractive too and somebody okay but you like lost your you lost your sense of confidence you know but it's not only your fault anyway because this person you were connecting to they also have to walk the path to to turn away their face from ego temptation and to grow up as well so that's all i can say all right did i make it up i don't think so but you know what you're both you're both looking for each other right now if you truly do not know each other yet okay so it feels like you were like before in your past life or maybe sort of right now you were like crossing each other's path but you just really need to pam get to know each other or like really cross paths and get to know each other sometimes this love story is not just like in the movie you know our our love story is like real stories so tribe so pathway i tell you pathway is like it's a long hard journey for you it's a long road ahead but do not give up and you'll get there exactly what i tried to tell you already just focus there is solution to your problem right now if you have a hard time trying to like really understand your life partner journey why is it so difficult well duh there you go the difficulty is just in the beginning but you're going to win this okay if you find peace okay if you're not going to be procrastinating i tell you it's your future spouse they're going to grow up and hopefully going to be trustworthy and going to fight for you two 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 hopefully you're going to meet this person within 2022 a person who is honorable respectable and um look he has the crown feels like a king of source energy or occupation wise could be in the truth law legal justice but we already knew that there was a king of pentacles king of cups energy and then now it's a sort of a king of source energy feels like if there's a message they want to be true to you they want to make things right with you they want to be happy okay because maybe for a while maybe this person was running away from themselves so it so you felt like they were running away from you but anyway i think like the message is you're not the only one looking for yourself they were also looking for themselves and when they look when they find themselves if this person is in the hermit energy this person also you're a male there's this male energy also went through a painful dark night of the soul actually you're both mirroring each other's energy you going through a very painful journey looking for the right one and so are they so anyway it's like your yin and yang work in progress like before there was so much imbalance and then now it's just like the yin and yang you're going to magnetize and gravitate towards towards each other and you're going to be forced to be reckoned with okay i want to marry you oh my god Ooh, it's been a long road but you marry each other so drive you light up the room when you come in why are you so different from the others because they just know that you have that glow you have that shine you have that good luck you have that energy 
with you okay that that no one compares to you that's how it is that's that's how they know that you're the one maybe when you're going to meet this person for the first time they just know it's click that's how they say how will you know if they're the one you just know okay whether you know if it's a twin flame or soulmate there's the connection there's that inner feeling that pan, this is the one it's a whisper it's like you hear the wedding bells and say yes she or he is the one. Bam! Merry Christmas to you. I don't even want to complicate that. Oh my God. We just want to know who your future spouse. But you know, spirit guys trying to say, your future spouse is a trustworthy person. A mature man. That's how I could see a mature person. Marriage. Oh my God. It just flipped on my hand. But until then, look, it's the freedom. Freedom is, if you are stuck, both of you were feeling stuck in your journey. It was long overdue. This marriage should have happened like a year or two years ago. But instead, what happened in the past two years? It's a lot of karmic wedding. Until then, so Chai, we're not going to be like so stuck up on karmic or twin flame or something. But I'm just seeing that there is some kar negative karmic pattern. But if someone is truly feeling stuck... Yo, the power of love, may the power of love lead you back, lead you towards each other. See, spirit simple and spirit symbol lead you towards the right path, the right direction, the right person, because that's how the 7-7 seven, seven energy. So there are signs, symbols, synchronicities from the universe, because 777 is, uh, as you know, not only... Maybe spirit guides, spirit guardians, and guardian angels trying to lead your future spouse towards you. Trying to tell them, please don't do that. But they weren't listening. So now, they're also trying to do that to you. Okay? Like they're trying to guide you through as well what you need to do in your journey. So you need to listen. Not only through your heart, but also through your soul. Because that's how you're going to find your future spouse. In your soul and in your heart. Until then... So you can find the right direction, the illumination, children, and your new cycle and new beginning. Children could also mean you have a past life relationship. It's also a six of cups. I don't know if you have children. Maybe they have children. But anyway, maybe you're going to have children together. But I can already know that you are both mirroring each other. Maybe you have to do the mirror exercise so you can mirror each other's energy and as you know like lift up each other's energy if the other is feeling down you cannot drag the other person more the other person needs to be much more stronger so so child there's so much more it's like divine feminine divine masculine you need to be balanced towards each other as they say it's the same as the holy tree they say the berries is not going to appear like this red berry is not going to appear if there's no feminine and masculine energy around. So I said, seriously? Yes, because there's some holly that don't have berries. And I said, why? Because they say there was an imbalance in feminine and masculine so there is a female plant and there is a male plant like a uh, seriously I didn't even well anyway I guess that's the that's the way of life until then I think this is also how I could see in your energy but is there marriage waiting for you no matter how hard it is there will be an opening for you okay there will be the pathway universe going to lead you towards the right path and we are seeing it so continue on your healing or continue to believe uh, that there is new beginnings waiting for you so so try it's all about it's, i think it's all about on your mindset right now your perspective if you think no one is going to come love you and then you're going to manifest that until then we are picking up like a beautiful energy of your life partner but i wish i could get more i could see more but so far there's still some kind of like a haze like a veil or something but but if you're both going to work on your energy and it's going to lift up and then we're going to see clearly. So until then, so tribe, today is Christmas Day. Merry, Merry Christmas to every one of you. And if you want to request your own personal reading, if you are able, then you can. If you are truly curious, what's your 
very own who is your future spouse energy then you can email me spiritual explorer 1111 at gmail.com and we can do your personal reading so uh, you can check my description box and if you don't want any reading then you can support kitty cat check my paypal link and send your gifts and donations and for coffee because today is christmas day so thank you so much magic come here magic come here magic come here come on come on right here right here come here let's say hello to so tribe let's go come here magic anyway so tribe we are a mess i know it is i know it is christmas and i don't want to be showing my face while ago because i am a mess okay so merry christmas so child. magic what are you doing in there come on see he she has a boo-boo in the couch so everything the couch is over there like we are a mess right now and it's christmas day it's always something i love you all so child merry merry christmas and you know i i thought i'm going to be walking around and taking picture on my outfit and then now i am here and doing cleaning the couch and going to take magic outside so so child but it's still it's still important you know that's what matters anyway merry merry christmas so tribe i love you all have a good day and i'll see you next time on my next video and live stream and uh, we're going to be new year next week so thank you and be blessed okay if this reading please if there's any triggers don't be triggered okay this reading is fluid anything can happen and the energy is going to change once like you know we need more light more illumination so thank you so child merry merry christmas have a good day bye